The scale command can be used to adjust the overall size of certain objects in a Revit environment. It does not work on objects that already know their dimensions. An example of that would be, over on the right hand side, select on the JIP board. Under Properties, you will see on the Type Selector list that this gypsum wall board is 5 eighths of an inch in thickness. Because it's 5 eighths of an inch and it knows that it should be 5 eighths, the scale command will not work on it. And we can see that with the object selected, if we look at the scale command on the ribbon, the scale command is currently grayed out. Whenever an object is grayed out, that means the scale command cannot adjust it. But if we would select on one of the lines that are here in the drawing, we could then make modifications of those. And this works with lines, arcs, circles, any of those kinds of objects. For this example, let's select the line at the top of our detail. We can see that the scale command is now active because it's just a line and we can scale it. Click on scale. Now there's two different ways that we can scale this line. One is graphically and the other is numerically. Graphically means that if you select one end of the line, then select the other end of the line, whatever the dimension shows up on screen, that will be the overall size of your line. So if I stretch this out to 10 inches, then clicked, we now have a 10 inch long line. If I did this command again, scale command, picked one end of the line, pick the other end of the line, I could then pull this back. Maybe I only wanted this line to go to the very end of this line here. Well, I could just move this back to the end of the line, click, and now the line is exactly the length that needs to be to go from the first spot that I picked to the end of this line here. But perhaps instead of knowing the overall dimension and then using the scale command to make it either longer or shorter that way, maybe we need to scale by the percentage instead. We can do that as well, and we can do that with multiple items. To select multiple items, we have two different things that we could do. We can either click here in the drawing area and then do a window around these objects, letting go to select on multiple items, or, and I'm just gonna click in space, I can select on one of the lines, hold down the control key, then click on another one of the lines, and now we have two of the lines selected. From here, you'll notice that the scale command is still available, and that's because these are both just regular lines. If we select on scale, we can see that both of those objects are selected. Now let's change this to be numerical so that we can do a percentage. If this needs to be 25%, we can type in 0.25. Five. Click where the base point of this scale needs to be at. And now everything is scaled based off of the point that we selected there in the drawing, 25%. So there are two different ways that we can scale. 